Welcome to another bite-sized training tape for football officials. And today we're looking at a, at a roughing the passer. So surprise, surprise, we're looking at the quarterback. He's going to roll out. And then he's going to get hit by B51 right there. So if we look at this, so 51 has full focus on the quarterback. And right now the ball is being thrown. One, two, two steps and a hit. And, and B-51 certainly knows that the ball is gone. Uh, this is not an attempt to, to tackle the, the runner. It's just an attempt to get a cheap shot in. And uh, we've got two flags. Now, typically, uh, the flag from the referee is good because this is his guy. Typically, I wouldn't encourage wings to call roughing the passer. So if we're looking at the line judge and his keys right now, this is a crew of seven. Uh, doubles on the receivers so the line judge has the tackle right now and the running back if he comes out which he doesn't so right now he's looking he's looking here at the potential holding which is good no call so right now there really isn't a whole lot other uh, stuff for the line judge to look at than the quarterback and, and stay on the line of scrimmage to see if if, if uh, where where the ball is is thrown in terms of the line of scrimmage or in relation to the line of scrimmage. So in this specific situation, the line judge would be looking at the quarterback anyway. He might actually uh, want to take his eyes off the quarterback and follow the ball into the end zone. But, but uh, I can understand why the line judge ends up with this flag and, and the officials do a good job of getting together and, and and so I think this is a correct call for roughing the passer. And that was it for this edition of the Bite Size Training Tape. So as always, thank you for watching.